What's up, Castleview? My name's Natalie Martinez. And I'm Anna Hemphill, and thank you for watching CVTV. cookie season. Have you gotten yours yet? If not, there's a few Girl Scouts at school who can help you get some. Hi, I'm Grant Blader. Uh, we're here at King Supers and we're here to do stuff with Girl Scouts. What we currently do in Girl Scouts is we do a lot of service projects and along with the cookie selling, you know, that's pretty much it. Yeah. You like the, what's your favorite? Uh, thin mints. I like thin, thin mints. mints. Yeah, yeah. All right. You know, we're just here because we're going to be tagging along. You know, just, we're tagging along with them for a while. Get it? Tag along. <laughs> cookies are selling cookies. I guess the one problem I usually have with selling cookies whenever I do it is the fact that it's in the less desirable months to be outside. You know what I mean? When it's really cold and not necessarily optimal condition to stand out there for two hours straight. <laughs> Scouts, okay, your job is kind of hard. You have to ask people if they want some cookies. Also, they wear these, which are pretty great. I like this. If I, if I could pay for it, I would buy it, but you know, kind of don't. But yeah, no, it's, it's a harder job, but it, they have fun while doing it. Why am I doing this? Why are we here? And it, I think it's pretty good. Yeah. Support Girl Scouts by getting our cookies. Help get cookies to help Girl Scouts. You heard it right here. Have you ever been to Crowfoot Coffee? Let's take an inside look. Okay, sure. Um, my name is Jason Gray. My role in Crowfoot <laughs> Valley Coffee is I've been the owner now for 20 years, and that was 20 years in January of this year. You know, um, so I moved down from Alaska in 1998 to Denver, and I was transferred working for another coffee company. And then when I was asked to go back up to uh, Alaska to keep working for this company, I decided to go ahead and stay and start my own company. An average day or a typical day for me at Crowfoot, um, I usually try to get to work by 4 o'clock in the morning. Um, I would say that I usually try to get off by 1 o'clock in the afternoon and then shortly after I try to, get, try, to, try to roll into my mayor duties at Castle Rock. I think the Crowfoot Valley Coffee will still stay local, but we're always hoping to expand a little bit. You know, I think right now we're going to lean more on wholesale. Um, we've always been a retail-based company, but I think that now we're going to do a little more retail and wholesale. Ooh, the pros and cons of owning my own business are really the same thing. So the pros are, are having my own employees, and, and the cons are having the own employees. So you know, I have to rely on employees all the time. I've been really fortunate in the 20 years uh, I've been here that I have about 15 employees right now. Um, eight of those employees have been, been with me more than 10 years. Mad Week is next week. Some of our staff went up to Sox Place to see what our money is going into. What's up, Castleview? How are you guys? Uh, it's Jordan uh, down here at Sox Place. Uh, we're hanging out. Just want to say hi uh, and, and let you guys know how excited we are to be partnered with you guys for Mad Week. Thank you guys so much for having a heart. Thank you guys for caring about not only your school, but to all the communities around you. So we're excited. We'll see you soon. So the good thing about Sox Place is um, we're very, uh, very low-key, uh, grassroots and, and down to earth. So all the money here just stays directly here and it all benefits really directly, whether that be through food or clothes or socks or uh, just paying rent to keep the doors open. I mean, no matter, no matter what, the money just really, really gets put hard work here. The, the motivation to start the screen printing um, was just to ch provide another way to serve the youth. So uh, by helping them with, with work and also by bringing income in to Socks Place. So it's, it's really, there's no branching off at all. It doesn't take any of our focus away from what our main mission is, and that's to help the homeless kids. Um, it more so provides uh, opportunity for some of the kids and um, a little bit more um, the attempt to bring finances in to Sox Place to keep our doors open. Basically, the partnership between Screen Printing and Sox Place is that the screen printing wouldn't exist without Sox Place. The only reason the screen printing is here is to, uh, one, provide some job training for some of the homeless kids, and two, provide some income 
four socks place. So <clears throat> the screen printing is a direct reflection upon uh, what we're trying to accomplish at socks place. It just provides a channel for us to um, help the kids more and financially help support socks place more. There's an event tonight to teach students what adults wish they knew before they graduated. If you're interested, it's at 5.30 tonight in the comments. Hi, my name is Anthony Graziano. I'm a school board director here in Douglas County and also a Sabercat dad at Castleview High School. I'm here to share some exciting information with you about an upcoming event here at Castleview for the entire community. It's a life ready, skills not taught in school session coming up this Wednesday, February 20th from 5 p.m. till 8.30 p.m. At the event, there'll be several great sessions that you and your kids can attend. Everything ranging from basic automotive skills, finance info and tips, time and stress management, relationship and dating skills, and learning about basic home skills, things that aren't taught in school that I'm sure you would love your kids to learn about or maybe even yourselves. Along with these great sessions they'll, that'll be going on, there'll be a number of employers that'll be here from the area that will enable you to get maybe a, a head start on getting a summer job. So talk with them about their opportunities, learn about what their businesses do, and maybe set, your out, set, set yourself up for success this summer um, as you already walk into a job with them. Now, along with all those great educational things going on and learning a lot, There'll be several great food trucks will be here as well, serving dinner throughout the night. So in case I didn't mention it, there'll be food trucks here that you can have a great night and enjoy with your family. And I hope not only yourselves, but your family and tell a friend and others to come on out because this is a whole community-wide event. So thanks a lot and look forward to seeing you there. Last week, Cheer placed third in Worlds. Nationals was good. It didn't go in our favor and it was kind of tough because we lost to one of our flyers on the first day. Along with that, their coach Heather Akampora left her position as coach a week before. It was difficult having our coach have to leave, obviously. It, she was a big part in a lot of cheer and a lot of what we do every day. But they still had a good time. Uh, just hanging out, it went great because we just got to like hang out at the house and kind of do whatever we wanted, but at competition, you could tell like everyone, some people were really nervous because it was the first time. This was Logan Burke's first time competing at nationals. It was a really cool experience just like being able to be with the team and like just seeing how everything went. When we were at competitions, we were all super close because like we had to encourage each other in order to like stay focused and just make sure that everyone was like confident. And then outside of cheer, we all just were kind of friends and just acted like normal teenagers. Once again, I'm Natalie. And I'm Anna. And thanks for watching CVTV. TV.